hello in this video we are going to implement few of the security headers in our website so security headers plays important role uh, for implementing different sets of security features in our website so uh, lots of client side vulnerabilities can be uh, controlled using security headers so these are the one of the most important things that would that needs to be implemented in our application or website so let's take an example so let's see a demo how uh, header HTTP header looks like so I'm browsing securityheader.com for an example and I'm navigating to network section and I'm just refreshing this page so I'm selecting one of the request and here we can see the uh, headers so these are the response header that we got from uh, our web server and these are the requests uh, header that are being sent from our browser so based on this request uh, header sometimes the response can be defined from the server side so these are the uh, request he uh, request header and response header so let's get started with our main major task so today we are going to implement a uh, security header for hackmopedia.com so securityheaders.com is the website so where we can we, where we can scan uh, our website for to check the missing headers in our website and this website also shows the real-time scoring for our website so i'm going to uh, scan hacknopedia.com let's see what we get uh, we get here f score so which, which means uh, maybe the lowest score uh, so the missing headers are content security policy x frame options content type options referral policy permission policy and strict transport security so these are the security headers that are lacking in our website so we need to implement these security headers in our website to improve our security score as well as to prevent client side vulnerabilities so let's get started with this so there are multiple ways for implementing security headers in a uh, website or application so uh, the uh, one the popular one is by implementing uh, headers in config files in server sites for that we need to access uh, application servers web servers and make some changes over there and another one is so uh, this is the one uh, we are going to follow in this video so i have selected domain hacknopedia.com and so we have already pointed it to cloudflare and cloudflare pro provides uh, one of the feature for implementing rules in our website so i'm navigating to rules and transform rules and modify response headers i'm creating a new uh, response header rule sec header is a response header rule name and i'm applying this for all incoming request and and then i will set a new header Set static and uh, let's implement these security headers. So let's try X frame options first. Let's see how it goes. Pasting here and same origin. Actually, this X frame options is responsible for preventing click checking vulnerability. So this header prevents our website being. Uh, loaded into iframe tag okay so let's save this one and enabling this one and we will rescan our website and this one should be green okay so we got green so x frame options successfully implemented in our uh, website target website so in this way we can implement other security header as well so uh, this this one is for demo purpose so i'm starting with the top one content security policy so now it's very easy to add more headers set new header set static content security policy and the value should be so the value for content security policy depends upon the uh, feature of your website so uh, i'll be dropping some reference reference links where we can get get to know more about this so right now i am 
uh, getting I'm uh, facing uh, script source from Google APIs.com and image from our own website so the aesthetic defines our sorry the aesthetic defines wildcard so I can fetch image in my website from any source and I can only so uh, fetch uh, script from Google APIs.com so in this way this security header works let's add permission policy oh sorry okay all right so this header provides mechanism to allow or deny the uh, use of a browser feature in a document or within an AI any iframe so this is responsible for defining allowing so some sorts of permission like microphone camera accelerometer location like that okay and adding one more referral policy same origin sorry set static strip transport security policy so uh, this header is responsible for defining our website should be only accessible sorry uh, our website should load in HTTPS if a user uh, browses our website in HTTP so it automatically redirects HTTP request to HTTPS permitted cross domain policy so by the name we can we can guess that this policy must be uh, relating to cross domain request so we are setting this to none and adding last one set static access protection so this is responsible preventing access attacks let's copy the value I think we are done with the header part now it's time to save this draft and let's disable and enable mm, let's rescan our target website okay all right we got a but still we are missing one of the header x content type options let's check x content type option so we missed this header let's check about this sorry okay let's search for this and all right i think we need to set no sniff let's add one more mm, set static no sniff no SMAFF sorry zip mm. let's implement this now we'll rescan this finally we got all our security headers set and we got a plus in our uh, report card uh, like this we can set security headers in our website to prevent client-side vulnerabilities as well as to strengthen our security score